this is Dapu7. Some updated information on this mystery object heading this way. This 3 eye atlas, as it's been dubbed. NASA said it was a comet because they observed a tail. Every other scientist and astronomer that has observed this has not found a tail. It also is giving off a light at the front of it that doesn't match any comet that they've ever observed. They say comets don't do this. They don't make a light, an artificial light, at the front. They're more symmetrical with the light spread out, and also they have a tail. Now, it's far away. The closer it gets, the better, the better they're going to be able to see this. But some of them are suggesting now that this doesn't even have a cloud around it. That it appears to be generating some kind of light from an internal source. Which, if that is the case, the object could be way smaller. And we're seeing the brightness of this artificial light that's emanating from it. On the front end of this mystery object. Now, the course that this thing is taking is super suspect as well. You can see on the left image here, kind of the course that it's taking coming in. It's going to pass so close to Mars that if it was some kind of mothership, it could release probes or anything else to observe Mars as it's doing this flyby. It's going to hide behind the sun from Earth's perspective for most of its close approach, which is pretty crazy. Then it's going to pass by Jupiter on its way out the same way it did Mars super close, like shaving it. They say that the odds of a natural object or rock flying along this path has now changed to less than 0.005%. And they're saying that there's no way that this thing is what NASA is saying it is just off of observation. Because again, they said that this was a comet because they observed a tail and there's been no tail observed thus far. Maybe that would change as it gets closer. Comets do pick up an ionized tail as they get around the sun, but Oumuamua didn't. Oumuamua, the first interstellar object that went through here that was long and cylindrical in nature, it picked up speed and took off out of here without being affected by the gravitational force of the sun. These are facts. And it looks like this thing's going to stroll right on by and not be affected by it neither. We'll see what the images show us as it gets closer, but you can see here in the shot, this is it flying you know, way out in the distance in space. What it looks like as it gets closer, hopefully we get a better bead on the shape of this thing. And with past objects, even when we tracked Elenin and Isis, one of them broke up near the sun, but the other one, it took on a V shape as it got close and all the images are there. You can't take away the history. You can't take away what happened. It's all there, these mystery objects coming in, especially these interstellar ones, raising big questions. So, again, this thing going to shave by Mars and by Jupiter and hide behind the sun so we can't see it for most of the time. It's pretty crazy, pretty crazy details. But the biggest is the fact that a ton of people are now agreeing that this thing is giving off an artificial light, something that's never, ever been observed in a comet before. I'll leave links. Join me for the live show where I dive into this in greater detail. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Dabu 77. Much love and eyes to the skies.